Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Comedia back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we're going to attempt to answer a question that a lot of people have been asking me for a very long time. And honestly, the main reason I haven't made this video up until now is because I wasn't too sure how to approach this topic in a way that would make people happy. But you know what? At this point, we're so close to the anniversary that I feel like I just gotta kind of suck it up and give it my best shot. So here we go. The question we're going to try to answer in this video is how many free-to-play Dragonstones can us global players expect to receive over the course of the four-year anniversary? And before we get into it, I just want to be clear that this is pretty much a question that's impossible to answer for sure because there are just so many different factors involved, you know, like I don't know how many times we're going to hit top grossing over the course of the anniversary or what social media campaigns we're going to get or how many events we're going to get on global that are going to be the same as what JP got and so on and so forth. But what I can do for you guys right now is give you a rough idea or a broad range of what we can expect for the anniversary based on what JP got for theirs. And I do wholeheartedly believe that a lot of the events are going to be very similar and we are going to get, when everything is all said and done, about the same number of stones that JP got. If not, maybe a little bit less. You know, maybe we'll hit top grossing like one time less than they did. Or uh, maybe we'll get like one social media campaign less. But it's going to be very similar. So that's what we're going to do. If you guys think that sounds good, then keep watching. And we're going to jump right into it. Now, before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to Reddit user. IDGAF about LRVB. Now, I'm not too sure what his beef is with LR Vegito Blue, but <laughs> that's not a big deal. He uh, created this stone log for January on JP as well as February and March, which we'll also take a look at in a bit. And uh, it's super, super helpful for this video. So thank you very much to IDGAF about LRVB. So let's start with the January stone log here, which is when the four year anniversary started for them. And uh, it actually wasn't for the whole month. It began, I believe, at, in the second half or like near the end, maybe the last week of January. So I'm actually not too sure how many of these stones would be contributed or count towards the four year anniversary. Like for example, I'm sure, you know, some of these 74 stones from logins would be part of the anniversary, but it's kind of hard to say how many for sure. So we're actually gonna skip down here to the EZA events and start from there, all right? So, first things first, they had a Gogeta Extreme Z Awakening, and that was 30 stones for clearing all the levels, as well as an additional 5 for missions. But of course, we already have the Gogeta Extreme Z Awakening on Global, so I would say this is probably where they give us the Int Janemba Extreme Z Awakening that a lot of us really, really want. Now, of course, it could also be Int Buhan, I guess, but um, I think Int Janemba makes sense here, and uh, so let's just say it's, it's going to be Int Janemba. Now, like I said, I don't know for sure, right? But let's say we get an easy A just like they got for Gogeta. 30 stones, 5 from uh, missions, that's 35 right there. And also the Goku Jr. Extreme Z Awakening, which I know for sure was part of the 4 year anniversary. And that's another 30 stones right there, as well as 5 from missions. So those are the easy A events. We already got 70 right there. And then we're going to move on to some extra missions. Um, of course, we're not going to include the New Year missions or the holiday missions here, but for the year 4 part, I believe it's part one missions. It's gonna be 25 stones right there. So we're already up to 100 and, no, actually that would be 95. But you know what? I'm not gonna to try to do a tally as we go because that's just gonna to be too hard. So just wait for the final number at the end. All right, moving on to some events now. Uh, there was a new DB story event or Dragon Ball story event where we got 10 stones or they got 10 stones from the uh, levels as well as 12 additional from missions. And then there was the B-Pan event, there was an additional level that was added, and that's an extra one stone. There's the Hercule event that I believe could be completed every single day for some rewards, and that's another one stone. There's the Giru event for the farmable uh, Giru, that's one stone from the story itself as well as three from missions. And then there are the Dokkan events of course for the Super Saiyan 4s, and uh, for the Goku there's two stones, and for the Vegeta that's two stones. All right, so. Now, there was a new battlefield, which I, of course, think that we're also going to get. Um, and that's another 30 stones right there for clearing uh, everything the first time. And then there's also the year 4 pre-login bonus. Now, 
This is technically not, I guess, part of the four year anniversary because it's the like pre or like the hype up to it, but I mean, it's related, so I think we can count that as well. So there's 10 stones for that. They also got a maintenance to add all the stuff to, like all the four year stuff to the game. And of course, I think we're gonna get that too. So we can pretty much expect those two stones for maintenance. And now Boss Rush 7 is of course something that we don't have on Global either that I've been asking for for a long time. But you know, at this point, I'm pretty sure they're just waiting for the four year anniversary to drop that for us too. So 35 stones for clearing Boss Rush 7 right there. And uh, the last the last thing here is we are number one, which of course means the top grossing rewards. And they got a whopping 130 uh, top grossing stones at this point in January. And correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't remember everything of course that happened, and that's why I'm using you know this post as a reference, but um, I believe the 130 was the accumulation of two different top grossings and a hundred of those stones were actually for the four year anniversary when they hit top grossing in both the iOS store and the app store. Like I said, I'm not too sure, but I think that's what it was. I remember getting a hundred stones in my box and not 130. Let's say on global we get 50 instead of a hundred. It's still a good amount. Um, but I don't expect that many for top grossing. I just want to be clear about that. All right, so at this point, um, there's already a good amount of stones from the anniversary, and this is only the like latter third or like the last week of January. And if we move on to the next month here, February, um, February was actually just all for your anniversary stuff pretty much. I believe the anniversary ran through all of February. So everything we see here can pretty much be attributed to the four year anniversary free to play stones. So if we're gonna start from the top here, there's the login bonus, it's 112 stones. So I don't remember exactly how many stones they got like every single day, it was probably like three to four I'm guessing, which is why we got to 112, that's pretty crazy for logins. Um, there was an SNS campaign, which is basically a social media campaign. Um, I think theirs was for Twitter or some other platform that they use in Japan, but um, for us, it's probably going to be some kind of Facebook campaign, which we always get for major celebrations. So that's pretty much a guarantee right there. Um, this is the daily missions, I believe, that gave out one stone a day. Um, they also had extra weekend missions for seven stones and some miscellaneous. Now, I have no idea what that is, but um, there's eight stones for that too. So you guys can kind of use your imagination on that one, I guess. Okay, EZA event, Vegeta Jr. Extreme Z Awakening, which I fully expect us to get on Global as well. 30 stones from the levels as well as 5 from missions. And then there's the Shenron Extreme Z Battle event. Now for this one, there were actually 0 stones from the missions, or sorry, from the uh, actual levels themselves. But from missions, they got 7 stones. And we also have some more missions here. Um, the Part 2 missions for Year 4 gave out a total of 39 Dragon Stones. And then there were also extra Shadow Dragons missions that gave out a total of 15 stones right there. And then there were some more events that were added as well. So there was the Dragon Ball GT story event, a new one that gave 23 stones and also two from missions right there. Seven stones for the Shadow Dragons battles event as well. Um, there's the Black Star Ball event, that's another seven stones. And then I believe for collecting the Black Star Balls, there was also an event that gave 28 stones. So that's a lot of stones from those events right there. And it looks like there was another battlefield that was dropped in February as well that gave another 30 stones. The energy campaign was this thing where global players would work together to spend stamina and send their energy over to the JP side. And for that, they got 30 stones. And I totally see them doing the same thing for global as well for our anniversary where, you know, JP can actually repay the favor. And there's also the live stream, which I vaguely remember. There was like this big live stream event, and I don't remember exactly what they talked about. I think it was like upcoming events or something like that, but for that, they got 44 stones. Now, this may or may not happen on Global. I hope it does, but if not, then I'm sure they'll hold some kind of, you know, alternative event so that we can still get those 44 stones in some way. And I don't remember what these holiday missions entailed, but that was another 21 stones. Um, they got top grossing again over 30 stones, and of course that is a very, very much variable thing. If uh, you know global players spend a lot of money and do really well around this time, which I do expect us to do, you know, I expect a lot of global players to pull out their wallets for this thing and you know spend a lot of money on the game. So I'm pretty sure we'll hit top grossing at least two to three times over the course of the anniversary. I don't think it's 
you know, being too optimistic to expect that, and uh, I think we can do it, especially with France on our side. We know France always helps us get top grossing, so if all else fails, we still got France in our corner, we're good, alright? <laughs> so we got um, top grossing here, and also the punching bag event, and this sounds to me like those new levels they added that allows you to actually use support items and makes it much easier to hit those massive numbers and clear those missions. And if you guys are able to clear all the missions, then you can get up to 86 stones for that too, which is just bananas, man. That's <laughs> that's a lot of stones right there. Holy crap. And uh, now we're at this final tally here that IDGAF provided us of 804 to 890 Dragon Stones from the 4 year anniversary so far. And even though at this point the 4 year anniversary is pretty much over, it was not, I don't think it was 100% over. So I do think that there were a few things in March that actually counted towards the anniversary too. But let's say this is where it ends, right? Let's say this is like all the stones that they got for the 4 year anniversary. As you can see, it was still a crazy, crazy number of 804, somewhere between 800 to 900, some, somewhere around there. Of course, for some of the sources, it's kind of hard to say exactly what proportion of the stones should count towards the anniversary. So for that reason, I feel like a range definitely makes sense here. And as I promised earlier in the video, JP got a crap ton of stones for their 4 year anniversary. And I fully expect Global to get something very similar. If not, maybe, let's say you want to be conservative, a little bit less. but. Even then, let's consider, you know, we hit top grossing one time less. And even when we do hit top grossing, we get a few less stones. And maybe we miss out on, you know, one of the social media campaigns. But even with those things considered, we should still be looking at somewhere around 700 to 800 stones. Because I don't see any reason for us to not get the major events that they did, like the, you know, Shadow Dragon stuff, the Extreme Z Awakenings, the Battlefields, the new Boss Rush and so on and so forth. And for all the social media campaigns, even though they're not all gonna be the same, I think they'll still give us different campaigns that are equivalent for the same rewards. So all of those that we saw earlier should still be there as far as the stone count goes, maybe just, you know, different under different names or different campaigns, right? But that's pretty much it, guys. That's gonna do it for the video. Um, I will actually show you guys the March stuff as well on JP, but as I said before, um, you know, the 4-year anniversary pretty much ended at the end of February. Some of these stones might count towards the 4-year anniversary, but most of them will not. So I'll scroll through it quickly for anybody that's interested. There's the login stuff, dailies, SNS, weekend, miscellaneous, EZA events, missions, uh, other events, Dokkan events, Twitter campaign, world tournament. Uh, we are number one once again. They hit top grossing a lot, holy crap. And uh, that's pretty much it. So. There we go guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for the video. You guys came here, like I said, for a very rough idea, a broad range of how many free-to-play Dragon Stones us global players can expect to receive over the course of our four-year anniversary. And once again, the range that I think is safe is somewhere between 700 to 800 stones, but possibly even more if we're lucky. And this is gonna be over the course of a month to a month and a half. It's a crap ton of stones. I think it's gonna be awesome. And of course the events are gonna be really fun as well. Like, the Ocon's just gonna be lit in about a month. So that's something definitely to be excited about. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below if you feel like I said something wrong or missed something in this video. Not only to my benefit, but also to the benefit of everybody else watching as well. Because I wanna make sure that everybody has the most accurate, up-to-date information as possible. So. Go ahead and do that and that's pretty much going to do it for today's video guys. I hope you found it informative in some way and as always if you guys like the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you'll like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I will see you soon. Have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. <laughs>